Hey guys, Greg Hill and Junior on today. Today I'm gonna be some of the best hatchets you should carry with you for any situation. Bugging out, just walking through the woods, hunting, I mean anything. Apocalypse. And not only I wanted to let y'all know something too. If y'all ever get any information that I'd like to hear, like bad stuff going on, you can always text my number. Which is 304-443-0390. And I will answer you back. And if it's really important information, I will upload it on my channel. Just so y'all know. Because I'm trying to get the information out there. I seek the truth. And nothing but the truth. But let's get to the video. Don't even ask about the bag. <laughs> I just grabbed the closest thing to me. And threw all my hatches in it. Here's my my favorite hatchet because it goes in your belt loop. I think I made a video of this once, but I can't remember. It's a very sharp blade on the end. Nice and sharp. I like carrying that in my belt. I know I made a video of this one. This is the Fisker's X7. I'm so y'all remember this one. It's the same design, but a little different. As you can see, it must be a different kind of metal because different color and all. I like the handle and all. You put the rope there. Which, that one has the same thing, I think. Yep. It's yeah, very lightweight and they're good for cutting. That's another good one to carry. And here is a Craftsman hatchet. Hatchet hammer. Got the nail puller. I like this hammer for you man at work. Because it's a very sturdy hammer. It's made out of metal right here. As you can see. It's very sharp, just like the other ones. It's got a bigger blade. Got the hammer end. It's a, it's a little heavier than the other ones. That's because it's all steel. That's another good hatchet to carry at all times. And here's my other one. And you see I painted the top. And that has the nail puller. Hatchet hammer again. It's got the bigger hatch hammer end on it. Got the wooden handle. I got the tape there. I was going to tape the whole thing, but I ain't made it to that yet. This is a very nice hammer. I like this one. Well, hatchet hammer, so I say. The blade is decently sharp. I've used this one a lot. And here's one of the new blades I have. I mean to show y'all. I mean, it ain't new, of course. But I like the handle and all. As you can see, it is a kitchen knife. It's called Rancer's Tender Beef Steak Knife. <laughs> but it looks really cool. It's a wooden handle and all. When it's in my case, it looks like a real knife. Well, it is a knife. It's really sharp right here. It's got the charade end and a sharp end. I like that. But yeah, those are all my hatchets. Let me know which one's your favorite. <laughs> you got that one. You got that one. You got that one. And you got that one. I have more hatches, but I thought I'd bring these ones out today. Because these are probably the most hatches you'll probably find anywhere. The wooden handles usually. Got the Craftsman, which is the work hatchet. And you got the two survival hatches. Fiskars and that. That's just an off-brand. I got Track Supply. And you see the same designs, but different kinds. So it looks like different metals, or at least different colors. Different kind of handles. That handle's actually longer. These handles, as you can see, the same size handles, different kind of materials. Now let me know which one's your favorite. My favorite, personally, I have two favorites. I like the Craftsman and the Fiskars. The other two are good, too, but they're my favorites. Okay, basically any hatchet is good for carrying at all times, no matter what. Like, in the wintertime, when I have my coveralls on, I carry a hatchet on my side all the time. 
no matter what. Because it's the best thing to carry. Because you can cut wood, you can cut rope, I mean, you can cut anything with it. It comes in handy no matter what. Self-defense. You know what I mean? I can go on all day about hatchets. Even axes. Of course, I made an axe video before. I showed me cutting down a tree and the best axe to carry. Which is any axe, really. But, yeah. If y'all have any information you need to share, just send it to my phone number. You can either type it out. I mean, if I wouldn't do no good calling me, unless it's around, um... 12, 1 o'clock. Because I usually am really busy to that time. So, if you ever need to call me about any information, just call around 12, 1 or 2. I'm usually up around them hours. If I don't answer, well, then I'm not up. But I'm usually up, no matter what. Yep, so... Well, y'all got to let you guys know. You got information to share? Send it to my number. Let me know which one's your favorite. And I'll have more videos coming out soon, guys. Thanks. God bless.